Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's time to get our faces destroyed by spikes. No, it's time to continue this area and you know, you guys, you, you are a lot in this particular area. <laughs> um, if I recall, there's something, unless I'm thinking of a dungeon in a different Zelda game where you had to dive in one of these holes to get something. But I, I could have swore, this is the dungeon. Then again, I could be confusing things, you know my memory. <laughs> nope, 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 stop it. You know what? I don't really think I have to kill you, in all honesty. But if I'm gonna kill you, you're going in the water. It's much, much faster. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think there's anything to pick up in this area. So that was kind of a big waste of time to kill them. Alas. Hmm. Yeah, I must have been thinking of some other Zelda game. But that's alright. Nope, nope, no, 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 Nope. Arrow on the ground. No! Shit! <laughs> Don't you dare. Don't you dare. That makes a portal appear. And let's bomb this. Obviously, as if the wall being out of place wasn't enough, they put an arrow on the ground as well. <laughs> Not sure I fully understand why they needed to double double up on the hint there, but okay. Um, another feature of the lantern is that you can burn stuff with it, such as spider webs, that can speed up the process rather than having to suck them off the wall with the um, gust jar. But of course, the gust jar is, isn't obsolete by any means, it still has its own features, it's just that it's sometimes faster to use one item over another. Nope! Oh, that was bad timing. Oh, I can get it from this side kind of cheaply, but I can still get it from that side. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 dang it. I bounced right off the tail before it was vulnerable. Durr, I got hasty. Alright, stop being so angry, matter pillar. I know it's kind of what you do, but still. Alright, and that opens the door on the right. I don't think there's anything left uh, in this area. Actually, I think I'm doing a pretty good job of clearing things out as I go. Uh, other than a, a couple of things back on the... Um, uh, yeah, right there on that floor, I'm gonna have to loop around the dungeon to get, but that's no big deal because there's the warp points as well. Uh, but I'll still need to take the lily pad, so I'll probably still end up, I'll end up taking the normal route first, and then I'm going to uh, use the warp to get back, basically. Yeah, you'll see when I do it. And this leads us back to the main room. Another switch. Let's open up the other half and get that element. Woo! That's pretty bright. <laughs> yeah! And this dungeon is complete, other than those uh, uh, chests. We did it, Link! Now we can take the element! That was a lot of trouble, but we finally did it, and... What in blazes? Hey, something's not right here! Oh, looks like the dungeon's not over after all! What? What's this? That stupid Octorok stole our element! Don't just stand there, we've got to go get it, Link! Now! Well, that sounds all well and good, but... I... I must... Get the treasure chest. I must get the treasure chest. <laughs> uh, wait, did I forget one on this? I mean, in this room? How did I forget? Where is... Where did I forget a treasure chest in... What? Oh. Wait, what? Huh? I don't... Where is... And where am I missing that one treasure chest over there? I'm kind of confused. And, whoops. <laughs> Hmm. Well, anyway, what I can do now is quickly rush over to my good old friend, the lily pad. And 
take her back to that icy basement floor. Actually, this is all like one big basement, come to think of it, because we're underground. Or more like under ice, but still. Come on. If I can't figure out how to get that chest uh, back on the basement one floor that I seen and I kind of confused I was on this floor, what I'll probably do is just take the red warp over to that area. Oops. Give it momentum, and then oof. So I say give it momentum, then dive underneath. But I failed. I did it better the first time, actually. <laughs> now, uh, I'm not doing this for no reason, obviously. The game actually makes you go around here twice with your lily pad, and you need it to go to the left side because you can't climb over certain things when you're in the water. Like, you can tell the shallows uh, next to things that you can walk on that, that are still partially submerged in the water. That's the stuff that you can get out of the water using, but not when the edge is flush up against it like this. Like, if I were to try and climb up to the edge without the lily pad, I would fail but using the... Oh, pff, come on! That little bit. You're really making me gonna do that little bit. <laughs> And it's all for a kinstone piece, I suppose. But that's not all. Um, back this way. If you recall, there was a chest frozen in ice here. And I should not have put away my sword. <laughs> I was just thinking ahead with all with the whole... Um, uh, the thing of that I would have both items that I need out at the same time, but no, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Alright, now... Oh, I still need a lily pad, don't I? <laughs> Curses. Well, I'm gonna cut ahead now that you've seen what I aimed for there. Oh, hey, look at this. I made it back here, but the treasure chest that I thought was on this floor, I mean, uh... I mean, I, I, I apparently got it somehow, I, I don't understand, and I didn't do anything special off-camera, maybe, I, I don't know. <laughs> so, okay, the dungeon is pretty much done, aside from the boss, so, let's take on the boss, known as, you guessed it, the Big Octorok. You're gonna need your lantern for this, by the way. You are very pixelated. <laughs> and boop. Now what you want to do is wait for it to shoot out a rock and then hit the... Come on. Hit it back at him. There we go. That's how you do damage. Keep doing that. Voila. And now it's going to freeze everything. Now the reason why you want it to freeze things is because it becomes very slippery for it as well, which makes it easier to go behind it and burn its tail, which is the real way that you're supposed to hit this thing, which makes it panic all over the place. <laughs> and perhaps I should have got some hearts before I came back in this area because this is kind of a it's kind of a risky boss, actually. It's not all that hard, but it's it's pretty easy to take hits from it. I mean, it's pretty big. Uh, you aren't. Uh, I should have rolled. <laughs> And that can suck you in and take off one full heart of health. Yeah, it's... it's. I, I, I still have a fairy in my possession, so it's not all that big of a deal. But I, I was just thinking that I didn't really think this through when I went through here again. But that's okay. Everything will work out fine in the end. Even if I game over, I will come back strong for a rematch. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, 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 dang it. But I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> I think this is going to go well! As I get sucked in again. <laughs> oh, not the beeping! Anything but the beeping! No! No! Aha! Just one more. You gotta do three rocks. Oh wait, that was three, wasn't it? Okay. Like that lantern. Oh, and sometimes it can black out the area with ink. And... Oh, here we go! Oh. Oh. What? What the heck? <laughs> I'm expecting it to black out the area with... Oh, no, you don't. With darkness soon, because it does that in 
one of the phases. No, dang it. Arr, let me get behind you. There we go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Nope. I don't think so. Looks fairly safe in the corner. Just watch for the shadows of the rocks when it's bashing things. And you should be fine. Wait a second, is it gonna do the blackout? Gonna do uh oh. Panic! Panic! Oh, poopers. <laughs> oh no 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 you By the way, the real way to avoid that is to um use the Pegasus boots, I think. If I recall correctly, but I don't have them out and it's kind of inconvenient to have them out, so I prefer to just Stay away from its snout, if at all possible. <laughs> nope. Not gonna happen. No, you don't. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, it's back to normal. I'm, I'm playing... I mean, I'm sounding awfully casual for such a... For such a large creature. Oh, nope. Come on, just start shooting. Oh, come on. I want you to shoot rocks. <laughs> I can't... Hit your or can't burn your backside without having the floor all icy, and the floor can't be icy without you being all angry, frozen over. Arr! It's another one of those patient sort of bosses. <laughs> all right, now rocks, please. There we go. On, more rocks, more rocks. There we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> Why you want to give me so much trouble? Just why? And it's it's kind of it's I, I don't want to say it's kind of trickier. It's quite a bit trickier actually to tell where it's where it is and what it's doing because you have less screen to see what's going on. Basically, you just have the circle around you. All right, come on, rock me, rock me. No, no, no. Oh, come on, that was terrible on my end, and I could have ended the battle, too. <laughs> nope, it's panicking again. Okay, maybe it's not panicking, it's in a rage. It always seems like the rocks fall around the area where Link is. It's, it's as if it knows just the spot on the wall it needs to hit in order to cause the proper avalanche to happen. Uh-oh. Yeah, oh. Yes! There we go! And I guess I didn't need to burn it one more time like I thought he did. Well, that's fine with me. <laughs> because the boss battle is over! Woo! The third element is ours! Well, it's mine. It will be yours once you get to this point. <laughs> You got the water element! Water quenches thirst, ends drought, and nourishes life. The water element is the embodiment of that power. Do not forget your heart container. Yay! Happy days! Alright, let's warp out of here. Well, we don't completely warp out of here because we still gotta transform back to normal size. And we do that just by touching the lights here. It just sort of happens automatically. Woo! Ah, I almost froze my beak off in there! And... uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, young one. Child who seeks to aid the princess of Hyrule. My name is Gustav. I was king of Hyrule countless ages ago. Stand before me. Only then will the path open to you. I kind of was standing before you, but... Hmm. hmm! Was it? Just a dream? He said he was king of Hyrule. Wait, look at your map, Link. There's some kind of mark on it. Hmm. I guess that means it wasn't a dream. We should head there once we've infused your sword with that element. To the Elemental Sanctuary! And... We will be exploring a new area a little bit later on, but for now, I think I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.